I have a service bulletin update right here straight from Honda Power Equipment. This is how they want you to fix your Honda powered lawnmower if it has this symptom right here. Engine chugs and stalls after startup. If that sounds like a symptom that you're having with your Honda powered lawnmower, stay tuned. Oh, hey guys. Oh, Heineken. Mmm. Love this beer. Honda Power Equipment Service Update Bulletin. Right here. Engine chugs and stalls after startup. That's what this bulletin's about. If you guys don't understand what that means, I just already took this outside and did a quick clip here for you. Watch this clip so you can actually hear and uh, see what that sounds like. Check this out. So you can see what that just did right there. That It started up and it was chugging really bad. It wasn't coming up to full RPM and then all of a sudden it smoothed out and then came up to RPM. In some cases you get this where it never ever does come up to full RPM again. It just keeps chugging. Sometimes it'll get slower and slower and slower where it almost stalls or it, or it uh, will stall. The update for this thing all has to do with these springs. It's the governor spring that's right down here. Easy to replace, easy to do this repair. You'll see that the original spring that you have on there is a long spring like this. It has uh, 21 coils on it. And then the update spring that they want you to put on it has uh, 13 coils on it. So it's shorter, the coils are shorter, but the spring is actually also two millimeters longer. That's your original right there. That's the update spring that they want you to put on this. Unfortunately, I can't actually find an online source for you to get that new update spring right there. You have to get that from, from either your Honda Power Equipment dealer or a lot of small engine shops out there that are actually not Honda Power dealers um still have access to these things so get that i got a part number here for you i'm going to put the part number for that new spring uh in the description of my video so check that out this update is for honda powered lawnmowers it doesn't have to be a true honda it just has to have the honda engine on it it could be a husqvarna like this one a craftsman whatever it has to have the auto choke system on it. Very easy to change the spring, you guys. In most cases, you don't even need a tool to do it. You could use your fingers, but you know what? A little pair of needle nose pliers or something like that makes it a way easier to do that. So just get in there, pull that old spring off of there like this, and then grab that other spring and hook it back on just the same way that you just took that off. Now that's step number one right there for this bulletin, change the spring. Now it's very important after you change that spring, it's not gonna fix all your problems. You need to adjust the RPM again on this thing. You have to adjust the RPM between 2950 RPM and 3050 RPM. That is a really small range, you guys. Shoot for 3,000. Try to get your RPM on that, um, on that engine right on 3,000. If you're off by 50, either way, it's not gonna make a difference. And I know it does make a difference if you go beyond that range because I've played with this. I've actually done this. If you're on, on both sides of that too much, you'll still have the same problem. So change the spring and then adjust your RPM. I'm not gonna show you how to adjust your RPM right now because I have a whole nother video on how to do that on this engine. 
uh, right up here in the I button, the information button, as well as at the end of this video, I got some clickable thumbnails there for you too. And that video that I'm talking about right there will be included in that, how to adjust your RPM. Get it right on 3000 if you can. So there it is right there. Get that new Honda spring on there, the update spring on there. Set your RPMs to as close to 3000 as you can. And it's going to solve that problem in most cases on your Honda powered uh, lawnmower that has the auto choke system on it. By the way, I was not sponsored by Honda Power Equipment in any way, shape, or form for this. I'm just relaying the bulletin that I got, sharing the information with you guys. I hope I saved you some money doing this. Give me that thumbs up button, guys. Hit that like button. That would be really cool. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. And uh, put some uh, comments down on my channel, too. I want to know what you actually think of this video. And uh, share this with your friends, of course, too. And until the next video, guys, I think that's it. By the way, beer is way, way more than just a breakfast drink, guys. Steve out. Yeah.